Hello, hello. I am Anon Jr. and we are on the Coffee Craft server. We started the season two of Coffee Craft on a live stream this past Tuesday. And I just wanted to put together a quick recap video of what we're doing for season two and what all the components are that we've got in the mix. So let's start with the exclusive preview of the guy around the corner. We're running the latest 1.16.5 build of Spigot because we wanted to run the U Skyblock Revived plugin to get our Skyblock setup going. And unfortunately, it's not quite ready for 1.17 yet. Hopefully that should be coming. Pretty much everything that's on the coffeecraft.us website for season two is correct. We are removing the durability ping because, well, it's not quite working right. And we should have a suitable replacement for the single player sleep here soon. Possibly even by the time I get done uploading this. The way you Skyblock is set up. Everybody spawns over here on Spawn Island, although I did make a couple of changes, you know, like the Coffee Craft logo and our little uh, <laughs> armor stand shrine. There's a few little things to help you get started, like the little getting started island that lets you know that the slash IS is a shortcut or slash island. They both do the same thing. And it will get you to the primary interface for the way this is set up. Slash C is a shortcut to get you to the challenges and pretty much the reason why we're doing Skyblock is this is a test of our knowledge of Minecraft. This is our chance to really flex how well we know the game and how well it works and expand on that knowledge because you start off with a teeny tiny island. Something kind of like, oop, oh, never mind. I'll get one better one started. There are some hints along the spawn island, especially this really important one because there is no way to get grass. You'll earn more dirt blocks through completing challenges, which will let you expand your island. And you can build a cobblestone generator. There are a couple of different designs for a cobblestone generator. We are using the custom origin plugin with our server so we can get a little more variety in our blocks a little bit sooner since we don't plan on doing this much longer uh, than the release of 1.18 possibly even 1.18.1 depending on how things go and custom origin is set up to use this style cobblestone generator so if we use any of the other different types of uh, cobblestone generators where the water doesn't fall at least one block Custom Origin doesn't recognize it and doesn't work, which is good if you want to make sure you get 100% cobble. Not so good if you're trying to get some of the other stuff. We've tied the Custom Origin into the island's level. As you add blocks to your island, your score, your island level goes up. It's a prerequisite for some of the challenges in this game, and it will also level up what you get from the Originator. For example... Everybody starts with an island level of one, uh, well, rounded down as one, is one point something. Everybody starts off there. So if you end up on an island level zero, you're in deeper trouble because you lost everything, everything. The beginner ore generator is what you get from the start of the game up until you get your island to level 20. And all it gets is cobblestone, 100%. 100% cobble all day, all night, all the time. When you get to island level 20, you start getting a percentage chance to get other items. For example, if you look at the chart, you'll see that it is a 1% chance to get some andesite, a 1% chance to get some diorite, and some fractional percentages for a few other items. When you level up to adept, when you get to level 50, your percentage chance for those items goes up. And we start getting a couple of new items on the list. Same for when you get to Expert at level 100, Master at level 250, and Skylord at level 500. These 
levels were not just chosen out of a hat. The way the game is set up, first and foremost, you've got to actually create an island. When we first logged in, we got this island create menu. There's one template to choose from. The nice thing is that U Skyblock Revived has, uh, has the ability to add other island templates if you so choose. We went with the default starter island. So it's getting the island ready. It's going to be a minute. There we go. And pretty much this is where you start off. You get this very, very small bit of land, this one tree, and a box with a bunch of starter stuff. Your little box of starter stuff contains two ice, a melon slice, a cactus, a lava bucket, a red mushroom, a brown mushroom, pumpkin seeds, a sugar cane, one oak sign, and we added for our server some bone meal and an oak sapling. That's what everybody started with. And that's what you do with your one little lone island. That's where we start. As you can see, some of us have already made a little bit of progress since the live stream and on the live stream. That little island is where we start. Right clicking the sign that's on the island doing the slash is command or making a sign with slash is in square brackets will get you to the island menu where you can do all sorts of fun things like return to your island if you're not on it. Change the home location which is where you will go when you teleport home. You can view the challenges. You can check your current island level. You can actually create and form groups. We're not going to be doing anything with this at this particular juncture. As you level up, you'll have the ability to change your island's biome, either in part or in full. And you can also lock your island so uh, nobody else can get in temporarily. You can also set it so that way people can warp to your island or not warp to your island. And you can return to the spawn island. There's also a log of some of the major things that have happened. Should you wish to, you can restart your island. It pretty much resets all the challenges, all the XP, all the everything that you've earned and brings you back here to ground zero. You can also change your warp location if you've enabled warp where people go. Let's take a look at the challenges real quick. This is where you start the game. You are at the novice level. You've got some beginner, well, <laughs> you're trying the novice level challenges. Your goal is to get the Novice Builder achievement, which is to reach island level 20. Almost coincidentally, when you get the Novice level ore gen. So this is where you start doing things like mining from a cobblestone generator. Once you collect 64 cobble, you can turn in that 64 cobble for 3 leather and a 20% chance to get a book. As well as some currency that we're not using and an XP reward of 10. And similarly, you can see that we got some apple collector challenges and sugar planter and melon farmer and cactus farmer. And each of these have different options. Some of them are a little more complicated than others. The rest are locked until you get the prerequisite stuff. For example, for the lumberjack challenge to become available, you need to complete the cobblestone generator challenge and the novice builder challenge. As you go up, you'll go from... The novice challenges culminating in novice builder to the adept challenges culminating in the adept builder and etc etc for expert master and skylord there's also an extra set of bonus missions for world foods once you get master builder and top chef you can uh, you can unlock the challenge to make some fish and chips or the other <laughs> dutch <laughs> And for other foods, uh, for which pronunciation I, I won't, I won't butcher too bad. And that's pretty much it for the challenges. Periodically, we will want to pull our island level. We can just go to the island, hit the little XP bottle for island level, and it will tell us how many of each we have. It'll give us our culminant score. And uh, by the by, this is the part. That's going to make things really interesting. There's a cap on villagers. There's a cap on monsters. There's a cap on animals and golems and hoppers and spawners. And uh, that's going to make some of the farms 
in redstone machines rather interesting, especially when you consider that there, there's a cap on the number of hoppers you can have. Uh, so if you'll note, when you look at the builds, some builds have a fair number of hoppers and being capped at 50 hoppers? You look at some of the mob farm designs and you see that it takes nine for the harvesting platform alone. Uh, that's a significant chunk. It's going to make some of these challenges even more challenging. All right. So with all that done and said, I'm about to embark on my actual island instead of this demo island. And I will see you on Tuesday's live stream. We, I live stream Tuesdays, 6.30 p.m. U.S. Eastern. There's a link in the description below. If you go to the coffeecraft.us website, on each of the member pages are links to the various social and streaming platforms of choice. For example, Arcadius does live streams only, and there's a link to his Twitch page from there. Xmatic Frog is doing some live streaming and planning to do some episodes as well. So uh, let's all... Follow, subscribe, etc. as appropriate for the areas, and I will see you guys next time.